market research predictions that everybody is making, one thing is sure, that will be wrong. It will be different. The technology will be there, governments will be there, you and I, hopefully, will be there, and we will drive electric in a completely different way than we anticipated. Electromobility has really started this year, in 2011, with the first cars coming on the market. And there are a few challenges we know about the infrastructure, which is absolutely essential for the success. And the two challenges for this infrastructure are first the safety and we must be absolutely strong on safety deliver absolute safety to the user even overshooting a little bit to make sure they get absolute safety for this application. And the second challenge is energy management. If people have to pay, let's say, 35,000 euros for a small type of car, they won't do that. And uh, that is what I see as the biggest uh, challenge in the so-called uh, energy transition. So um, uh, the industry, uh, and together with the people, have to adapt uh, those cars. The business case has to be uh, uh, correct. First of all, cars must be there. <laughs> people must uh, have the possibility to travel with these cars. Next thing is that all the different systems which are evolving now in cities, around companies, in particular countries, need to be able to talk to each other. They must open up so and some kind of roaming system needs to be uh, set into operation for this. We see now that uh, things like uh, battery prices, they are on a trend to go down very, very steeply. Car prices will go down very, very steeply. There is a point in time where it all of a sudden happens. The biggest challenge in, the, in a sense is to uh, get the consumers of these products to, to want to take them uh, and uh, to get the businesses to grow because unless we have consumers of e-vehicles then we're not going to have much of a business. And everybody, I believe, uh, from uh, producers uh, all the way through to regulators and government have a job to try to persuade consumers. And to that extent, we've got to make the products attractive. We are on the long run, and I think it's a good year because a lot of uh, people launches and a lot of companies launch uh, new products for 2013, 2014, and uh, they are agreeing with with the situation that electromobility will come. The car is only one outlet of the electricity mobility part and that it has to serve different purposes, not only mobility. And it might also be necessary that we change a lot of our habits in the way how we use vehicles uh, and what kind of vehicles we use. The question is in which options do we need harmonization or which options could uh, get in competition with each other. And that's really crucial questions and we are very happy that uh, Orgalime uh, is helping us and advising us in this area how to do better. We don't have a blueprint in the Commission how things will work out. And things that are feasible, practical and useful have to come from those that can develop the solutions. It is industry. We are making in this moment a good effort and uh, we try to develop uh, not only a new industry in electrical mobility, we try to develop a new concept in energy process and obviously all the environmental matters is very interesting in order to develop this uh, type of industry in the next future. This system will need uh, intelligence in the, in the future because to give you a, an idea, a car, uh, the consumption to load a car is the same as, as for your, your building, so you double your electric consumption. There has to be the understanding that electrical cars are till now not useful for long distance run. They can be used for the first hundred or the last hundred kilometers for long distance and therefore we have to go more in the direction of combined traffic, more comfort com comfortable uh, combined traffic, but we have to go in this direction. We need to listen to our consumers. Industry is much better attuned to that than a regulator is and uh, so yes, regulators have a part to play, but it's up the industry to come up with solutions uh, that, that fit our customers' needs and therefore to drive the business forward. But we need supportive governments and supportive regulators, and of course we want the European Commission to want to uh, drive forward e-vehicles where they can.